All right, FTX, this workout is titled New Kids on the Block. I hope you're getting our theme this week. It's kind of fun for us. The warm up is going to be three rounds. You're doing 15 air squats, 20 flutter kicks, and then 30 jumping jacks. For your air squats, get those heels shoulder width or wider. Your toes, I usually will point them straight and then just go slightly out on each side. And then, of course, when we go down, we want to get full depth and maintain that chest up high. After that, you're going to go into your flutter kicks. This is just a one count, so you'll be on the ground. And I usually like to get a full range of motion, so I'll tap the heel to the ground typically. The leg that's up is going to be perpendicular to the ground. You can put your hands under your butt if you want. That's more comfortable. And do that for 20 at a one count. And then we're going to warm up a little bit the uh, shoulders as well as our couch with the jumping jacks. Just go from the thighs all the way touching together overhead. For the workout, now this is going to be what we call a progressive AMRAP chipper. So the progression is like this. You're going to do an AMRAP for one minute and then rest one minute. Then you're going to do another AMRAP for two minutes and then rest for two minutes. And then you're going to do the full walk. So when you start here, you start at the top, rest for a minute. Then you go to the two minutes of work, you start at the top again, goes for two minutes and then rest for two minutes. And then when you go to the full wad, you start at the top the third time and go all the way to the bottom and your time is your score. You've got wall balls, sit-ups, shuttle runs, ring rows, and kettlebell sumo deadlift high pulls. Wall balls, remember, you're gonna have your wall ball ready to go. For ladies, it's a, a nine foot mark. For fellas, it's gonna be a 10 foot mark. So we obviously have that on the wall. If you don't, just you can use a tape measure. You can make a good guess, no worries. If you don't have the height that you need in your house and you can't really throw it up high, then just do a thruster. Or if you can't do the thruster, then just get your front squats in. So that'll change it up a little bit, but it'll still give you the kind of motion that we're looking for. Then the sit-ups, remember we're looking for full range of motion here. So we want you to be able to touch the ground behind your head and then come up and touch it in front. We're really just looking for the shoulders to come up on top of or past the hips. So it's more about the shoulder and the hips than it is where you touch here. Then your shuttle runs. This, is, this should be a shuttle run wherever you are. It's 50 feet total, so it's 25 feet out and then 25 feet back. So on our board or on the Metcon, we're showing shuttle runs in Wattify 25 feet, but it's a two count. So for us, we usually go from a beam to the next beam and back, and that's one rep. But if you're gonna measure at home, then you just need to know 25 feet is the length, and you're going out and back. Don't just go one distance 50 feet. Do the 25 out and back for your reps. And then ring rows, of course, you have your kitchen table. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you need to substitute, you don't have a way to do ring rows at all. One thing we've recommended is you can use a kettlebell or dumbbell, and you can do lawnmower pulls here, or bent over rows, you can rest that hand here, however you need to do it. Try to even up both sides, that says 25 ring rows, so you want to try to do 25 on one arm and then 25 on the other. And then the last movement is the kettlebell sumo deadlift high pull. So here, kettlebell is centered, keep that back flat, you're going to reach down, pull, and get those elbows high and outside, and the handle of the kettlebell is going to come around the collarbone. So this is the height you want. Touch the ground every time. All right, and then that's our workout. 